Okay, this is the part two. I just load up a piece of a Home Depot melamine. The table is at five by 10, which is another reason why I'm selling it. I'm using a seven by nines. So every time I, I have to cut something on this table, I have to manually cut it down so it can fit the machine. So this is the, the reason why I'm selling the distributor here in Florida. They only sell these big sheets. So uh, we're just gonna cut a, a little cabinet here. It's gonna be a wall cabinet, 15, uh, 12 by 15. This is uh, their software here, quick cut. And this is the, one, the other one to draw everything up. Let me show you real quick. So this is how you cut cabinets once it's ready. But you really create the cabinet on this software here. I think I have to close this one before. Uh, let me close this down. So I'm gonna open the e-cabinet. And this is where you'll make all the cabinets. So, so I'm just gonna, when I went to school, they told me uh, you load an existing job, uh, Ray Closet. And this is a, uh, and I can't do it because you gotta hold hold shift to make it 3D. But this is where you make all the changes. Once it's done, you save it in a catalog, and uh, and that's and then you open this one here, quick cut, and that's where uh, you do like editing, like how high and uh. So this is uh, a regular one. See, this is you create. You can make doors on here with the hinge holes already regular cabinets but the one we're gonna do is this one here which has the blind blind dowel method where you don't need anything to assemble the cabinet just glue and a clamp so here you put the quantity you put one width is 15 the height is 15 the depth is 12 you could change all this and you click add and also, uh, when you click a quick, and you, you keep adding, this list keeps going down, down back. So you click this. I'm not gonna change the material, but right now it's signed up for a four by eight plywood. So I'm just gonna click no. I don't know why it's doing that, but uh, you click here. I clicked over here. And now you click this little uh, X here. You do have to know a little bit about computer and stuff. You have to be good with tools because you need to change tools. But if you just uh, download something off the internet, DXF files, you click here to load it. Or you could do manual input where you put the sizes manually and you can just cut squares or rectangles with that. But I do use this uh, DXF and you can just load pre-made pieces on there. So uh, you click OK here, then you click um, Nest. Oh, let, me, let me do it again so you can see it. So whenever you put X, I, I clicked on this, but X is it's aligning everything to the left of the sheet. Since my sheet is very small, I'm just going to nest to the bottom. So this is like you're looking from the top. This is where the machine is sitting now. This is the table, and this is the piece of plywood. So once you're uh, ready, you click Nest, and it's gonna come on here. And let me just show you here real quick of uh, all the doors I did, pre-made. You see, so I have all my doors pre-made here, so I don't need to use e-cabinets if I don't want it to. You can just load the accepts. I have all my cabinets here, and I'll throw that in, I guess. I'm not gonna delete it. But I spend a lot of time and money doing the little list. So once we're ready, we're gonna turn on the vacuum. Turn the vacuum. Uh, we're gonna turn on the this one first. Go ahead, Umber. And then we're gonna turn on the vacuum so we can suck up the. Dirt. So as soon as I print, uh, print, it's going to uh, 
So print the label and the paper so we can label these. Got it. Oh, okay. So he's gonna press the green button. And this is gonna pop up this little fence. So that's how we align the material. So you see? Got it. So see now the material is stuck. If you if you turn this off, you can move the material. But as soon as that, uh, hold on, you see, it got stuck to the table. So that's how you, uh, you align the, the material. It's gotta hit all these stops. And then you click here. And then if you want to be extra careful, you press it down a little bit. This is how you adjust the speed. That's the speed right there. This, this piece is really small. I'm gonna cut it in uh, 70%. Once I click start, it's gonna start working. It's gonna print the, the label by itself. So it's telling me to load a piece of material, three quarters. press the green button or you can use the mouse So as the machine is working, the auto loop is, uh, is dripping. That's how the machine gets lubricated. Whenever that's dripping, you know it's working. I'm gonna grab the cutting tool and it's gonna start cutting.
turned off that, that and he's gonna turn off the vacuum. So once we do that, we got the labor. The labors are supposed to be a four by two, but I ran out. <clears throat> so now you look at the number. Hold on, phone. You see this is a piece number one, two, three, four, five. So on the sticker here, you look, you see sheet one, part five. So you know that this one goes here. I'm gonna look for the number four. Number three. Number two. Number one. I'm gonna let go of the vacuum here on the side so you can let go of the piece. And the reason why I didn't run the machine is at full speed is because I have all that space open there. So the smaller the piece that you try to cut, you kind of have to slow down the, the machine. I was able to cut up 46 cabinets with this machine, but it's not enough for us because we did buy bigger machines now. So that's pretty uh, much it. And then let me just show you real quick. If you did want to do a manual cut, you put it here like this. You press this clear here. And you put here manual input. And you put the, if you're just trying, just trying to cut it by hand something, which is real cool also. You can name this uh, whatever. Let's say I want to cut a piece 12 by 12. But this is a great machine for someone that's starting. And you can just put out whatever plywood you want. I'll put out three quarters melamine. And then you add to the list. And you keep going down. Once you're done, you click this. You click this. You click this. You see the pieces here? I can move it around. I can cut it here. So right now it's gonna cut right there. That's how I usually test my pieces. So I'm gonna press start and it's gonna do the same thing. I'm not gonna do it, but now it's gonna be ready and it's printing out the, the, the thing. But you see how, um, how quick it is to cut something. And it's printing the labels, everything. And the technical support is, is pretty amazing. Because, uh, you know, it's an American machine and uh, they have a nice facility there in Indiana. Mm 